we're the prototyping department really and we look at, at the technology available to designers whether it's in fashion design whether it's in in product design or within architecture we're a college-wide department so we're available to anybody on any course and and that's from sound design to fashion design and photographers and we aim to bring as much modern and available technology to people as, as, as we possibly can really and so we don't really know what one project's going to be like or how people are going to use the technology we make it available and we explain it to people in a way that they'll understand and they'll find a use for it in their own project. Uh, so the name of our project is WashPod uh, and so the idea of this project is that it cleans, rinses the clothes and dries them to a point where they sort of drip dry. Being a water-based product it's important it's all watertight and fits and the tolerances are right so it all fits together nicely. The print on the object is really nice, really smooth, you're not having to sand it down or uh, sort of make changes to the product at all, which you might find with other 3D printers. And that sped up the process massively. You're not having to spend masses of time refining the product again after the print. It's really beneficial. The level of detail of this machine is far excelling what we can get with the other machines. It's, it's proving really worthwhile for them. We were tasked with make, designing a product that was customisable and we took it upon ourselves to design sunglasses. The O brand was developed around the look of the sunglasses through the use of shapes that we used. The sunglasses actually looked like the same O for it through the use of the, the eyepiece and the, the nose piece. The whole concept of the glasses is so that people can adapt different pieces of the glasses when they choose to, to match different looks that they have. There are over 1 million combinations so far and this will change and adapt. From our initial concepts we then went into developing our prototypes and these were done on fairly low quality desktop 3D printers which weren't ideal because the tolerances were far too big and we needed something that was quite fine and refined for our products so the joints would fit nicely together and that's where the connects come in. Timing is essential in, in our projects. I mean, we only have a very finite amount of time and the use of the object means that we can actually continue in prototyping in more detail because it actually doesn't take a lot of time to, to print out quite a few parts. The overall result gives you an actual very close to manufacture standard of what the product would look like. You can almost guarantee that what you're printing is going to turn out exactly as what you've designed. We, we encourage lots of iterations of design processes so we get the best out of rapid prototyping and the best out of the CAD software. This machine represents the top end of that. It's where ultimately you might make a near finished piece or something which tests, tests out your concept at a high level of detail. There are things that you can't do with the lower end machines. We were looking for a higher resolution than our previous processes and we were looking to uh, incorporate flexibility and well, a variety of materials together really and that machine does, does it for us.